I've been implementing this with the with the Ableton Echo plugin a lot, but I'm I'm basically like finding a a sound that I want to give this impression of it being in this huge room. So so we have this. So I have this cut right here. A hollow throw. And I'll do this with an Ableton reverb really quick. So even this I would I should have like trimmed up a little more, like these little like pops and tails, but like I don't get like super like I, I'm not one of those people that super freaks OCD. out about them. Yeah, I don't get super OCD about mix downs like I used to. So let's use this uh long tail reverb preset that's in Ableton. Basically what I'm doing is I want this sound really present and up front in the mix but i want this impression of it being in a huge room and to do that i can kind of just have the reverb in introduce right when the sound is done so i'll do something like this or like right as the sound is finishing and uh give this like a four second delay i usually don't have like pre-delay or anything so without the reverb on it's just and it, it's essentially gonna like give you the clarity and like you know the sound's going to be really present rather than like if this reverb was like like this the sound is so much more pulled back in the mix but right when the sound finishes i like implement the room and it like gives it a cool like whoosh effect too with the uh with the uh, automation going up and like kind of just dial this in like i usually won't use it that much but make it really like aggressive for now Maybe a little more, like have it curve up a little harder. That's sick. 